Hi guys, my name is Rugela and welcome or welcome back to my channel. So for today's video I decided to do this pink makeup look tutorial and I will be using only drugstore products except my mascara. So if you want to see how I created this makeup look then keep on watching. But before we jump right into the video don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join our little family. Okay, so hi again. I just put my hair like that so hopefully they will be a little less annoying and I'm going to start with primer and I will be using this primer from Maybelline and I actually only got it yesterday and I've never applied primer before so um, we will see how that goes. Okay, so I put a little bit of primer and I'm just going to spread it like that. Okay, it feels actually nice, although I was very, I don't know, confused when I saw the texture. So we will see. Actually, I think it's a nice primer. I really like it. And I don't usually do makeup tutorials on my channel, but you know, a few days ago, I realized that that's actually something I really like doing. So you will see more makeup tutorials on my channel. I finished applying my primer. And now we're gonna go with foundation. My foundation is also from Maybelline, the Maybelline Fit Me. I'm just going to apply some foundation on my face. And I usually don't wear like a full face of foundation, but I thought I will try this today and see how that works. Oh my goodness, sorry, it's not going well. I think I added a little too much, I don't really know. We will see. So yeah, now we will apply some concealer and I use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer and I will apply it on my under eyes, a little bit right here so it would be like a base for our eyeshadow and just so the eyeshadow would stay longer and look a bit better. Now I will just blend it out. And now I will take some powder and just set my under eyes. I don't really do that baking, you know, because I don't understand how it works and I don't have that loose powder, so we will just have to go with this and it's just what I have. And I will just set my under eyes and also a little right there. Okay, there we go. I still look very weird, but now it's time for eyeshadow. And because we're creating a like pink rosy makeup, I'll be using this palette from Makeup Revolution. I will show you all the shades I'm using. So first of all, I'm going with white shades so we could set our concealer a bit better. And now I'm gonna grab this light pink color, you will see it. And just apply it on my crease. And do the same with the other eye. Now I'm gonna go with some darker color. And add it in the same place. So our makeup would look a bit, you know, darker. And when you do your eyeshadow, it's important to go with a light color first and then add a darker and darker color because if you go with a really dark shade first, it would be impossible to blend and it would look really weird. So just start with a light color and just go darker and darker. And make sure you blend your eyeshadow because if you don't, it will also look a bit weird, you know? Okay, there we go. That's what we're working with now. And now I'm gonna go with a bit darker shade in my outer corner, I mean in this place. So I'm just picking a darker shade. And the only thing I don't like about that Makeup Revolution palette, like it's really affordable, but the dark shades are pigmented at all. So that's a bit of minus, I guess. 
but if you're using only light shades then it's a really great palette a lot of people actually say it's a dupe for urban decay palette i think but i haven't really tried that one so i don't know you know i don't have that much money <laughs> sadly Now I will take a bit smaller brush and add some color under my eyes in that place. So I'm just mixing a few colors together and adding them right there. And now I'm just going to take some shimmer with my finger and apply it. I don't know how to call that place but you will see basically right there so it would give a really nice shimmery look now i will apply some mascara and that will be the only not drugstore product because i can find a good drugstore mascara because they make my lashes look terrible so i will be using the benefit mascara also if you have any good drugstore mascara recommendations then leave them down in the comments because if i found a good drugstore mascara i would be more than happy so i will curl my lashes now apply my mascara okay so our eyes are done and now we will move to eyebrows so I'm using the NYX micro brow pencil and wow like this product is honestly amazing like I love it so much so if you haven't tried it, go and buy yourself one because it's really good. And I've mentioned it in my everyday makeup routine video, so you can check that one out as well if you like this one. So I will just brush through my eyebrows to remove any kind of foundation and stuff in it. And then I will start filling them. And I honestly like my eyebrows just the way they are, so I don't really fix their shape, I just fill them up so they would look a bit brighter, I don't know how to say it, you know, just to give them some more color. Okay, so that's how we look now and now it's time to add some bronzer. I'm using this bronzer from NYX and it's so sad that you can buy only bronzer. I mean you have to buy this whole palette and I never use the highlighter or the powder in it. So again, if you have some good drugstore bronzer suggestions, leave them down in the comments because soon I will have to get a new one for me. I will just top off the excess. Like, that and I will put the bronzer in all the place, you know, on the cheeks, on the forehead, just so my face would look more natural. I never tried using contour, but maybe I will try in the future, so we will see. I really want to get better with makeup and do just more makeup videos, so I guess I will need to learn how to contour my face. Okay, there we go and I also think I will add a little bit of bronzer to my nose just to contour it a bit because now it looks a little weird with that foundation so that's what I'm going to do. Now I will just blend everything with my sponge so you know it would look more natural because now it looks a little bit too brown for me. Okay, here we go. Now it's my favorite part, which is highlighter. Oh my god, I love this so much. And I didn't know what highlighter to use because I have one from Makeup Revolution, 
but I don't really like that one and the golden one from Maybelline doesn't really fit this makeup look so I thought I would use this one from this NYX palette so we will see how that goes. Like it's a great highlighter but it gets off your face I think a little bit so I don't know I will just try it. Okay, I'm sorry, but my camera just stopped recording and I don't know where did I stop. So I just added a highlighter on my cheeks and on my nose and now I will add it on the top lip in the middle corners of my eye. Okay, so highlighter is done and now we only have to apply some lipstick. I have this really pretty lipstick from L'Oreal. It's in the shade 633, so I will just apply it on my lips. Okay guys, so I just applied my lipstick and I guess this makeup tutorial is done. So yeah, I will also show you the end result, although you saw it in the beginning of this video. But if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And if you decide to try this makeup look, don't forget to post it on Instagram and tag me so I would see how you guys did it. So I love you all so much and I will see you in my next video. Bye!